The mention of his name undisputedly trickles a message of success in many years, not only in Uganda but world over. Wava, as he is commonly referred to by many, is one of the most successful indigenous African entrepreneurs and household names in Uganda. Born on 16th December 1943 to Maliza and Yovan Wavamono in the remote and low-income village of Lugaga in western Uganda, Professor Sir Gordon Kasibante Wavamono is one of the most influential personalities to reckon with. My dad left Masaka to Ankole to trade coffee and, and, and the cows. He ended up settling there. To date, Professor Sir Gordon Wavamuno has incorporated a number of companies in and outside Uganda. His involvement in business can be traced way back to the late 1950s where at the age of 14, Gordon Wavamuno was already engaged in his father's agriculture trade business. 1974 was a year considered a double milestone in Gordon Wavamuno's life, having established Spear Motors Limited. Spear Motors was incorporated in 1974 to represent Damla Benz at that time, AG in Germany. And exclusively, we have been selling Mercedes Benz since then, and we are still the agent and the business is going on well. It is the official distributor of other brands like Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, King Long, Grateful Motors, buses and trucks. To get the agents of Mercedes-Benz, I was uh, invited through friends, Mr. John in Timber, the father of Peter in Timber, that uh, the Mercedes-Benz was looking for somebody from Uganda to take over the agency because um, uh, President Amin had taken over uh, DTW Uganda and he had given it or allocated it to Kironde from Kironde to Uganda Motors from Uganda Motors to Republic Motors so they saw that he, the, the government was not stable in running business and they wanted a private company and I was selected. We have a training school for motor mechanics one of the best in this country. Professor Sir Gordon Wavamuno's influence is also felt in the insurance industry. He joined United Assurance as a shareholder, but as time went on, he became the managing director. His contribution to the sector is also recognized in the renowned United Assurance Company Uganda, a subsidiary of UAP Holdings in Kenya then. Through his foresight and connections, we were able to get UAP Uganda established, it is not Sir Gordon who went to UAP. UAP came to him. He has been in the business since 1973. Sir Gordon Wavamuno, together with his Kenyan friends, established UAP, a venture that's made the group become one of the leading insurance companies in the region. UAP, Old Micho, is in Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Southern Sudan, uh, South Africa and many other countries with my support is working as a team I think we have done something you guys you can't believe it in the 1980s he established GM Co limited to undertake bus and truck bodybuilding as well as other fabrications following the government's policy of privatization then Professor Gordon Wavamuno, through his GM company in 1990, bidded and successfully acquired the Uganda Metal Products. GM Company Limited merged with Tompeco and got transformed into GM Tompeco Limited, which further improved financial performance, operational efficiency, and job creation. I have to be focused on where I want to put my money. I started a bus company in town here. It was one of the best organized companies, City Bank, a city, city bus. It ran for nine months. One year, I found I had a problem with Matatu. 
I hand rope and heal. That's not my area. I left it. Together with his business partners, Dr. Taka from Singapore and Mr. Kashwada from Japan, Professor Wavamano established Phoenix Logistics Limited, the only company in Uganda specializing in the manufacture of high-quality textile garments. From cotton knitted and cotton woven fabrics. This was established on a 1.3-acre piece of land on 5th Street Industrial Area in Kampala. In his quest of promoting tourism in Uganda, Wavamuno refitted the equator. This is an imaginary line on the Earth's surface that divides the Earth into the northern and southern hemispheres and is located at zero degrees. Despite being recognized as a physical feature worldwide, this place had no development at all until Professor Gordon Wavamuno set his hands on it and set a Wanda village and Wava restaurant at the equator where tourists stop for a bite on their way to tour other areas and tourist attractions located in the southwestern region of Uganda. It should be noted that out of passion and fascination with business and close dealings of renowned broadcaster Mr. Raleigh, the chairman spear group of companies on his visit to the U.S. was enlightened into getting involved in broadcasting with the advent of private broadcasting. This is when he became one of the investors in cable TV services and later set up Radio Simba with one of his allies, Aga Sekalala Sr., in 1998. Later on in 1999, Professor Sir Gordon Wavamuno established WBS as a free-to-air TV, becoming the first indigenous TV household commodity. It was difficult to get the equipment, to start to get the recruitment of the staff, over and above to finance it. It was premised on an overall objective of entertaining, informing and promoting religious, cultural, environmental and political awareness as well as social development. And WBS expanded its horizon around the entire country. WBS, where quality matters. Perhaps another great milestone is Gordon Wavamuno's contribution to the education sector. Professor Wavamuno takes pride in having been appointed Chancellor of Nkumba University, a renowned academic institution in the land, as he serves as its Chancellor. He's equally an honorary professor from Makedede University, the oldest university in Uganda. Furthermore, in the field of academia, in 2000, he began Wava Books Limited, and in 2003, this began its major contribution to the publishing sector with development of textbooks for primary, secondary universities and all tertiary institutions and the general public. His popular book, The Story of an African Entrepreneur, was commissioned as one of the books to be used by the Harvard University in the entrepreneurship curriculum in the U.S. Some of you have got computer, you go to your computers, you'll find that my name with Harvard University, they are teaching about me. African entrepreneur, how do I do it? Professor Sir Gordon Wavamuno takes pride in numerous awards given him from, among other countries, Hungary and Germany. I'd like to hand over uh, this uh, award to you, consisting of three parts. As you see, it's uh, always up to the appropriate uh, dress code. And uh, this is the one uh, which uh, you can wear uh, in your neck as a necklace. And I'd like to uh, uh, hand over to you the decree uh, signed uh, by our uh, Madam President, which is although in Hungarian, but trust me, uh, this is what I have uh, spoken out in the recent months. Spoken about in the recent Thank you, wow. Mr. Babamuna, and thank you so much, Your Excellency. He serves as the Honorary Consulate of the Republic of Hungary in Uganda. Uh, I'm very, very, very grateful and humbled to be here before you and to receive the present you have given me. It's a big surprise. I didn't know that I would reach this day. I didn't know that I would get such a word from your government. And in order to uh, 
have such such a strong relationship we need the pillars there as well a pillar like our honorary consul mr vava mundo we have uh, <coughs> been uh, convened uh, today to celebrate him and his efforts and to hand over uh, the award uh, to his excellency who has been working for the improvement of the bilateral relations since 1997 and if you had not performed your excellency then currently we could not refer to the hungarian ugandan relationship as a true success story and has on several occasions been interviewed by international and local media across a range of topical issues now joining us here in our Washington studio is my distinguished uh, guest, Sir Gordon Wavamuno, among other titles, serves as the chairman of the Spear Group of companies based in Uganda. Well, I have to say frankly that uh, I am profoundly honored and exceedingly humbled to have the opportunity to be able to host you for the first time on Straight Talk Africa. Thank you. Also listed among other brain children of Gordon Wavamuno is Wava Water Limited. This is a company that was established in 2003 with actual production beginning in 2007 with a manufacturing plant in Nakwero Gayaza Road, approximately 25 kilometers out of Kampala city. Wava Water comes from a safe non-polluted environment, making it the safest natural pure mineral water on the market. An enduring love for farming has seen the chairman, as he sometimes referred to, involved in horticulture. He's been a shareholder in Victoria Flowers, emerging as the first Ugandan to engage in the sale of flowers on the international market. In the same vein is the establishment of Nakwero Mixed Farm. It's a modern, well-fenced multi-purpose farm, and prevalent at this farm are 100 Frisian dairy cows in addition to piggery, poultry products, and many other animals. This farm's location has a cool ambience with a mixture of produce, including plantations, and a variety of fruits and seasonal crops, and supplies majority of businesses in Kampala, as well as Spear Group employees. In January 2013, the Queen of England bestowed upon Professor Gordon Wavamuno the British Royal Order of Chivalry, making him a knight. What I want to do before this ceremony concludes is to present to your chairman, who has done so much in enabling St. John, Uganda to move forward, particularly in the last five years. This award was in recognition of his generosity and contribution to St. John's Ambulance of Uganda, where he's been a member since 1983 and a chairperson of the association since then, on top of donating ambulances, renovations to association buildings, and availing bursaries and other charitable work. People can know you when you are there, but they will never know you after you have gone, and whatever you have done is gone. So, get your pen and do something. To date, Professor Sir Gordon Wavamuno is not only a business mogul, but a diplomat and civil society activist. Professor Sir Gordon Wavamuno established a museum to help the community understand how the different generations have evolved up to now. I was encouraged by the late Vice President, Dr. Kiseka. You know, he used to tell us, to tell Ugandans, you guys, you don't have anything to eat. You have this land, you have this. Get up, do something, earn money, over and above, write about yourself, write about Uganda.
His contribution to religious organizations has been and continues to be enormous. In addition to schools, he solely has put up houses of worship for different communities in different areas and different denominations. Notably among others, the recent church in Lugaga. And not forgetting his participation as chairman of the Centenary Organizing Committee of Namirembe Diocese in 1977. Wavamuno is a proud and prominent Muganda who belongs to the Ente clan and has always participated and contributed to the cultural engagements and for this, he's been on several occasions honored and appreciated by the Kabaka of Buganda, Ronald Muenda Mutebi II. I would like to salute you, Gordon, for your hard work. Because without hard work, I doubt whether you would have achieved this. For your determination, for your resilience and focus. And really becoming a very wealthy, famous Ugandan businessman. Success, I think it's a, in somebody's vision that you have something, why should you lose it? And if you don't want to lose it, you should find a way how you can keep it. To him, the biggest tragedy to be in this world is not the failure to fulfill one's dreams, but rather to never have dreamed at all. Mm -hmm.